The debate over the harmonized sales tax is not dying down, and some say it's causing a lot of grief for the Campbell government as two challenges make their way through the courts. Supporters say the tax will help build a stronger economy, reduce duplication by making the system more efficient, and ease tax collection. But those opposed to the tax disagree. A news reporter Aaron Glazer has more. Aaron? Eric, protesters called the agreement a perfect example of cooperative federal, federalism today as the debate rages on. The B.C. government and business groups argued today in the province's Supreme Court that the HST is a federal statute and therefore can only be reversed by the federal government. But anti-HST advocate Bill Vanderzam says whether it's federal or provincial, it's going to cost them. The premier knows that the people don't want the tax. The federal government says it's not our tax, it's their tax, so we'll be going after them big time. And that'll cost Mr. Harper and his people lots of votes in this province. But staying mum once again today, Chief Electoral Officer Craig James, the man who refused to pass the HST petition onto the legislature. I don't feel too sorry for him because I think he did set a very bad precedent. It means that in future anyone taking the initiative petition could end up in court getting challenged by some group. It doesn't make sense. When contacted today, BC's Chief Electoral Officer Craig James told A News he would not comment on camera regarding the status of the HST petition and he will not make a statement until court proceedings have been resolved. However, he did defend his decision in a letter to NDP MLA Leonard Crowe. James stated while in discussions with legal counsel concerning an appropriate course of action, I was informed by counsel. To even continue with the vote count might be seen as an abuse of process. Clearly the chief electoral officer is clearly in the political hot seat because he does conclude his letter by saying to me, I trust that the foregoing is responsive to your inquiries and must thank you for the respectful nature of your letter as I have been frankly saddened by the vitriolic attacks that I and my office have been subjected to during the past week. Here is very truly. While well, Vanderzam says there is no tax people will be in favor of, both he and Krog agree the decision of a new tax should be up to the people. And that has not happened in what he calls a democratic manner. I think people want some say in what taxes and how much tax. And they deserve to have a say. They're the ones paying it. They elect people to represent them in the legislature, to listen to what it is they say and to act accordingly. That's not happened. And of course, if this is now a federal tax, then we've lost control in this province. You may as well write the place off, we'll all move to Alberta. Eric Leonard Krogh went on to say today that he thinks the only man who can fix this is Premier Gordon Campbell. He would like to see him call back the legislature and have them put the issue to a vote. However, that is unlikely to happen. Aaron Glazier reporting. Thank you, Aaron. You're welcome.